Hi, I'm Leander Pez. In the next half hour, I'm going to be bringing you six incredible stories of unsung heroes from the east of India. This is CNN IBN series of Real Heroes. In life, we fight to live with respect and dignity. Perhaps nobody knows this better than the children born into the red light areas of India. Our next hero is a young brave girl from Bihar. She proudly calls herself the daughter of a red light area. This is about her fight for identity and how she lives to get it. In 2002, a police raid in Chatur Bhutstan, the red light area of Bihar's Muzaffarpur town, became one girl's wake-up call. 17-year-old Nashima saw how the cops arrested and harassed not just sex workers, their children were also not spared. Nashima, daughter of a sex worker, decided to, decided to fight back. Twenty-five girls, all daughters of sex workers, have joined Nashima in chorus. Together, they formed Parcham. मान सम्मान और अधिकार ये तीनों चीज हमारे मेन लक्ष्य में हैं। Ali to Ali, door to door। कौन से क्लास में पढ़के छोड़ दी? Nishima convinced every family in the area against forcing their children into the profession. Sony's mother herself, a sex worker, was scared that Sony had no option but to follow her into the profession. और भी तो कोई चारा नहीं है। हम जाएं तो जाएं कहाँ? Nashima gave Sony that chance. Today she is studying at an open school and preparing for her class 10th examinations. For those who are already in the profession like Neelam Kumari, Nashima's demand is for a performance license. That would safeguard them from the police pimp nexus. This is our pratimikta, that they don't have to get rid of their knowledge. And this is what they have to do with their knowledge, they don't have to do with their knowledge. One of Nashima's biggest challenges has been to usher in a secure future for a retired sex worker. One of Nashima's biggest challenges has been to usher in a secure future for retired sex workers. Thanks to Nashima, Sita Dadi and others like her are now part of a project called Ujala, where retired sex workers are rehabilitated. From computer training to undergraduate classes, the Parcham now has a presence in 25 districts of Bihar. Nashima and her gang of girls also reach out to the outside world through Jugnu. India's only magazine completely handwritten by those living in the red light areas. The biggest headline in Jugnu this week is the wedding of Muzaffarpur's bravest girl. Nashima tied the knot with a social worker, Hansraj. Here they are, seeking the blessings of Muzaffarpur's Sufi saint, Kambal Shah. Nashima knows that her marriage has a much larger meaning for hundreds of girls like her who were born with a stained identity.